Hey everyone, welcome to a new video. Welcome to Floating in Dreams. Today we are doing another fashion video because we are talking about my outfit formulas. So the way I like to put outfits together, I have five different ways of like formulas that I like to stick to whenever I'm building an outfit. And because I know that we're currently in a transitional period, I thought I could try and see if I could make each one of those formulas fit for all four different seasons. So let's get started. Welcome if you're new here, welcome if you're a returning visitor. Thank you so very much for joining me today. Normally I don't chat about a fashion all that much. I try to do two, maybe three videos a month, but normally this channel is mainly about eyeshadow palettes, Essence and Catrice reviews, and getting the use out of my makeup. That's sort of my main focus. But I love a good fashion video and I like styling my outfits and showing you how I wear things. And especially now that it's like we're like heading into spring and it's this transitional period, I love dressing in transitional periods. It's like my favorite time of the year. So I thought I could do some outfit videos again for you. And today, as I mentioned in the intro, we're going to be focusing on outfit formulas because I was sort of thinking about this and I was like, but really, actually, all I do is stick to five different formulas and I have different renditions. <laughs> <laughs> on that formula that I wear all the time and that sometimes even translate into different seasons. So that's why I was like, let's just talk about these different outfits and I have four examples of every single formula and I have tried to cater to every different season. So for each outfit formula I will be chatting about, I will have a spring, summer-ish, I'm not much of a summer dresser I have to say, a definitely a fall and a winter option as well. So whichever way you, you're, you're going, so if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and you're going into winter, or if you're like me in the Northern Hemisphere and you're going into spring, summer, that you have something going for you and that, you know, if you want to, you can find exactly what you need. Now, before we get to the outfits, there's a couple of things you need to know about me. I'm short, I'm only five feet tall, and I have more of an apple shape, so that definitely factors into things as well. So I'm always looking for things that make me look taller and that can not necessarily hide, but that can sort of like emphasize my best features. And I think that my outfit formulas definitely factor in to, you know, those things that I'm looking for, yeah? Um, something I've done with all of these outfits, I'm wearing the same pair of shoes because for me, shoes are definitely an accessory. So I really like changing the vibe of an outfit depending on what shoes I'm wearing. And for me, the focus in this video is really about the pieces and how they come together, not necessarily the shoes. So depending on what you have in your closet, you can take away whatever you like. Also, when I'm talking about jeans and a top kind of thing, I will be wearing the same pair of jeans throughout the entire video so that you can really see how the different tops can change the outfit. So that you can really see how you can tweak outfits depending on how you style everything together, you could say. Because I was like, if I wear a different pair of jeans in every single outfit, you're still not going to see the effect. <laughs> so that's sort of where we're coming from here. So let's get to the five outfit formulas and all of these different outfits. Now I have my phone right here so I can cheat because I don't remember from the top of my head what I did for every single outfit formula, but let's just start with the basic outfit formula number one, and that is just the OG, jeans and a nice top. And for me, this translates into every single season. If I wear jeans, currently wearing them still because I just finished filming all the outfits, but I don't know. I can't show you, I can't. I'm flexible enough, but then I'm gonna split the jeans. Um, <laughs> so I have the same pair of Topshop mom jeans on in every single one of these outfits. And whenever I do this, like in the summertime, I just go for a band tee usually, or like another graphic t-shirt. That's what I go for in the summertime very often. And because I live in a milder climate, we don't get super hot summer, summers where jeans are completely out of the question. However, I think if you live in a very hot climate, you can very easily change this into a pair of shorts if you'd like, uh, or maybe a skirt or something like that. But we'll get to skirts towards the end of the video. So yeah, jeans and a nice top for summer with just a basic t-shirt with something of a print. I do like to have that. I especially like a white t-shirt with jeans. That's just like, 
a crisp white tee with like a with a cute print. That's what I love, and I have one right now. I'm wearing a t-shirt with the Clash on, but I have one with the Beatles on, Velvet Underground, like some of my OG like old time favorite bands. I tend to buy them if I see them in a store, and I'm like, yeah. I want to have you, but I have other colors as well. I like a black t-shirt too, to just to change it up. And I do also like using my graphic tees, tees for layering, but in the summertime is really where they get their moment to shine. And quite the opposite, in the winter, jeans and a sweater. I have a boatload of sweaters because all I wear in the winter time is a knit. <laughs> like that's what I'll wear. And that's why I have so many, especially because I like to change things up and I don't want to be wearing the same thing continuously. Now, because we're going into spring, I opted for this really fun stripey number that I got from Monkey in the sale for like five euros years ago. Such a steal. Um, I love wearing this, especially in this transitional sh uh, uh, season when we have cooler days. I like wearing a sweater like this because it is fun and bright but it will still keep you warm. And then I have like my darker, murkier things for like dead, dead of winter. But my favorite way of wearing a pair of jeans is with a blouse, short sleeved or long sleeved. So for the short sleeved option, I went with a pink blouse from Monkey that I got a while ago, but this style of blouse with like a, sort of like a pajama style collar is what you'll find a lot in my summer wardrobe, like spring to summer. I wear these under cardigans. I sometimes wear them with blazers, like for layering as well, but I love wearing a printed number by itself on a hot summer day or a hot spring day for sure. So that's where that one comes in. But you know that I love my vintage blouses if you've been here for a while. So yeah, my favorite way of doing jeans in a nice top is just, a vintage blouse. It just, it doesn't get any any better than that. And definitely ever since I discovered vintage kilo sales, the thing I bring home the most are blazers and blouses. And it's just, it's a go-to whenever I find one that drapes nicely, that has a fun print, or that I can tie into a front knot, I'm game. So that is outfit formula number one. Let's move on to outfit formula number two. And outfit formula number two is trousers plus something on top. So for me, trousers like dress pants fit into a very particular category in my brain that I like to style up always in a slightly more casual way. So as you will see in all of these outfits, I've always gone for something that adds something fun, whether it's a print or a color. I don't like wearing dress pants as like part of a suit, even though I have dress pants that are part of a suit, but very often I will wear the item separately because I don't want it to look too stuffy and like, I don't know. I just really like the look of a more masculine pair of dress pants with like something fun and funky. So the first outfit here is something that I think is something I'm gonna be wearing a lot this spring. Um, this like cocky grayish green uh, pair of trousers with a cocky t-shirt and then this fun bright pop of orange. Orange is everywhere for the season. And I was like, this, th this is really giving me the feel. So even though I'm still wearing a button down blouse, I, I'm not wearing it fully buttoned up. I'm more wearing it like a jacket almost to add to the casual vibes. And even though I'm wearing dress pants, it never looks overly stuffy. Now, I love a good dress pant also in just a classic color. So the next pair of pants are actually a pair of cigarette style trousers. So they're a little bit differently than your average, average like masculine ones. These are a lot more high-waisted and they're almost like a mom jeans kind of fit, but then in a dress pant. Um, they taper down a little bit more, so they're a little bit like narrower in the cut, and I feel it gives you a really flattering, almost like 1950s kind of, um, kind of style. I think that you can dress this up very easily if you wear like a ballet flat with this. I'm pretty sure that can, can be fun. And here I've paired it with a really fun balloon sleeve blouse that I have from Monkey in this really fun, spunky gingham print. I love a good print, especially if I have a pair of trousers that is this basic. Uh, I like to have something fun on top. And because the blouse is not that long, it tucks into these very high-waisted cigarette style trousers really, really well. This can also work with something like that's a bit more cropped, like a crop top or a cropped sweater, something like that. 
Um, I like to wear super high-waisted uh, pants if I do wear anything that's cropped and I always love tucking things in so I wouldn't necessarily wear anything too long with this because then I feel you lose the elongating effect of the trousers. But we are all here because I love a good pop of color like I'm wearing I'm wearing a purple blazer, you guys, but I love red. <laughs> red is like my favorite color of all time. And I, I was just playing around with this outfit just to see how it might work. But I have this pair of red trousers from Zara that I absolutely adore combining with pink. And I actually decluttered a pink blouse that I used to wear with it because it was a bit, like after washing it, it got a bit crooked and I could never line up the button placket with the button on the, um, on the zipper on the pants anymore, so it looked a bit weird. Um, but yeah, I have some really fun pink blouses that go with this pair of trousers as well. But for the video, I was like, would that red blouse that I wore with jeans before, <laughs> would it be the same shade? And I felt it was similar enough in this shade of red, and then I popped that pink sleeveless sweater over top that I got from Monkey. Also the blouse is from Monkey, by the way. And this is a great combo. I love wearing the top part of this outfit with jeans as well. It's another take on jeans and a nice top. But here I feel because everything is sort of like red, I thought it was a nice spunky outfit to share with you. And then the last rendition here, because I think the other uh, outfits so far were more like spring, fall, wintery appro appropriate. I also wanted to share the way I like wearing this kind of style in the summertime, in the height of summer. I love these pleated trousers. These ones that I'm wearing in this clip are from Topshop that I got a few years ago. They're a really fun yellow polka dot pleated trouser and I love wearing this with a black linen blouse. The one I'm wearing here even has a front knot detail which is a really cute accent here as well. I believe it's from Bershka if I'm not mistaken and it's just a great way of wearing a very light, airy but still dressed up outfit uh, that can be perfect for summer. Moving on to outfit combination, outfit formula number three. And I have to say that this is an outfit combination that I need to go back to more often because a dress with a cardigan used to be my go-to. I don't love blazers and dresses for some reason. I think it's because of where blazers cut me off. I sort of need that line of a pair of trousers to sort of give me a shape if I do wear a blazer, but with a cardigan, I feel it drapes and hugs my body in a very different way, which is why I like pairing them a lot with dressers, especially if they are a long line cardigan. A long line cardigan with a dress has been an OG staple in my wardrobe for years. And again, you can wear this in all different seasons because like I said, I live in a mild climate, so we do get these like cooler summer days. And then if you have something that's like a short sleeve cardigan, like I'm showing you in this outfit here, then it can still very much work. So a really nice floaty A-line kind of like skater dress. That's what I prefer wearing in the summertime, even though I'm wearing it with black tights here because I was wearing the black boots. But then I would go bare-legged and wear a pair of sneakers or something. And then just have this cute cardigan over top just for those nights where you get a little bit colder and then throughout the day you can just wear the dress by itself. So a dress with a cardigan I think is also a great way of either transitioning into a warmer or a cooler season, but also for those like festival nights where you might be out all night long and you just need that extra layer to keep yourself warm. But of course, <laughs> this kind of outfit screams fall to me. Um, I love wearing a black and white dress with like a colored cardigan over top. Here I went with a baby doll cut dress that I've owned for, I don't know how long. It's like one of the oldest pieces in my wardrobe. I think I've had it for like a decade or so. And here I'm pairing it with a mustard yellow cardigan that is longer than the dress. And I don't always like that. But here I feel it kind of works because there is quite a lot of difference. But very often what I love doing is having a cardigan that is the same length as the dress. That is usually my way to go as well. And then in one of the other outfits I'll be showing you in a minute, I'm wearing a burgundy cardigan and that cardigan I wear a lot with this particular dress as well. So depending on the mood, <laughs> I go for the mustard yellow or I go with the... Um, uh, with the burgundy one, but I've also worn this dress quite a bit in the summer season, and then I wore it with a very light, like baby yellow kind of cardigan as well. So that was a good one. 
But my OG favorite fall outfit is this fuzzy cardigan combo that I have. So it's like a very sort of tapestry print kind of floral dress. Again, a bit more of a baby doll style here, a bit more shorter as well in length. And then I just pop this really nice fuzzy cardigan over top. I just really like how this cardigan adds a lot of texture to this outfit and it keeps it from being really boring. It also has a bat wing sleeve, so you can really play with the silhouette of your outfit if you use a cardigan. And that's also how I feel about my last outfit, which is one that I love wearing if we're having really, really cold winters. I'm not huge big, I'm not very big on sweater dresses at all. Like a lot of my dresses have short sleeved or sleeves or no sleeves at all, so I can use cardigans over top and I can still wear them in the summertime as well. But this dress is actually a sweater dress. It's very long on me. It's like a midi length and it has long sleeves. And then with a cardigan over it, you really add that nice layer uh, for the winter time to just really give it an extra bit of warmth. And this is the cardigan that I was referencing before um, where I was saying I also wear this with other dresses for sure. And what I like about this outfit, I have a bit of an apple shape. So the dress by itself, because it is quite bodycon, I don't find too flattering. I kind of look like, <laughs> like a seal <laughs> that just escaped or something like that. So if I drape the cardigan over it, I find it flatters my figure a little bit more. And I'm sort of still giving you curve, but I'm not giving you the curves that I don't want to show off if that makes sense. Outfit formula number four, and that's where this combo comes in. I just decided to have this on as I was filming this part of the video uh, and keep this on. So let's start with what I'm wearing today. So outfit combination number four is a blazer with a top. I have found that the way for me to wear blazers isn't with a blouse. Much like my trouser obsession, I love a good blazer, but I don't want it to look too much like I just stepped out of an office. I like it to have a casual touch, and I like doing that with a turtleneck. So a blazer with a turtleneck, but sometimes also a t-shirt if it's like cool enough, like warm enough to, uh, to go for a t-shirt, I like to do it that way. But yeah, let's start with what I'm wearing right now. So this purple blazer from Zara, I absolutely adore. I have the matching suit trouser as well. So this is one of those moments where if I want to dress it up, I can, because I can go for a full on purple suit if I'd like to. And I've definitely done that in the past where I just wore a cream blouse with this and I wore it to more of like a dressy occasion at work. Worked perfectly. But for my day to day life, I like pairing it with a turtleneck much like this. This one is from Monkey, and I really like the juxtaposition of the green with the purple. And that's what I love doing with blazers. I love contrasting or sometimes toning down the actual um, like look of the blazer. So here I'm combining a fun print with a color, but also one of the other outfits, which is the next one I'm showing you, I'm actually really contrasting the colors. So the blazer here is a burgundy. I'm not sure if it translates very well on camera. It looked a little black when I was filming it. So I hope it picks up as burgundy. And then I've contrasted it with a baby blue turtleneck, but I also have a very nice fuchsia blouse that I also really like pairing with this particular blazer. So I really like how with a blazer, you can very easily just add color, but because you do have all of this open, you can have that contrast and you can really elevate your outfit. Just pop on a pair of jeans if you wanna make it super casual, buy the matching trousers of the suits if you wanna be able to dress it up a little bit more. That would be my tip. So for me, this is more of like a spring combination, you could say, and then the burgundy with the um, with the light blue is more of a fall combination for me because I would wear that burgundy shade more so in the fall time rather than in like the spring summer season, you could say. But a blazer and a turtleneck will work really, really well as well in the winter time, especially if you go for more of like a thicker texture. I've got quite a number of vintage wool blazers and that's what I'm wearing in this clip here. It's a tartan print, which I love. And then I've just put a ribbed cream, like almost knit cardigan underneath it as well. Also, if you have a very thin cashmere roll neck, that can be really nice under a blazer as well, I think. And then if you have the wool blazer with the turtleneck, you're never ever going to be very cold. 
Again, I live in quite a mild climate. I'm very well aware if you live in a very, very cold climate, you may not want that, but trust me that a wool blazer with another wool layer that's a little thinner underneath it, and maybe a thermal underneath as well, will be able to keep you warm, even in the coolest of temperatures. Um, but yeah, I love that combo as well. And then finally for this one, I already mentioned that I like going for a t-shirt if the weather st starts to be, uh, get a little bit warmer. And then I also like to tone down the colors of my, of my blazer. So I've got a couple of pastel shades in my, um, in my blazer collection. Um, and this sage green one I'm wearing here, it's a bit more oversized as well. So I like that boxier fit. And then with a plain white tee underneath, a pair of jeans, especially then with a fresh pair of white sneakers. I think that's just a really, really great way to dress up a blazer with a top combo for the summer season. Again, not if it's like a super hot day, but especially if you are having a milder summer, then it's a great outfit to wear to work. And finally, my fifth outfit formula is a skirt with a top. So I can do jeans and a nice top, but I can also do a skirt and a top. And again, with skirts, I think it can look a little stuffy sometimes and a little aging if the length of the skirt is a little longer and then you're also pairing it with a blouse. I call it grandma chic. I like that look on myself from time to time, but I understand that that's not for everyone. So the way I like wearing skirts in the summertime, I tend to wear for longer skirts usually, um, but in the first outfit here, again, I'm wearing the black tights because I was wearing the black boots with everything, but just a t-shirt, plain white tee with a fun, mini skirt, mini skirts are all the rage. So now I'm so happy that I kept around the ones that I loved so much all these years that I haven't really been wearing a lot because I tend to go for mini skirts more so in the fall season when I can wear tights just to keep things decent. But now that mini skirts are back, I'm like, mm, I definitely have a couple of good ones that will be perfect for the warmer weather. So this really nice red floral skirt with a scallop design from Urban Outfitters, I really love and I'm really glad I hung on to it. But my favorite kind of skirt length to actually wear is a midi skirt. Something that's just under the knee, that's what I love. And I love these pleated skirts and buy them vintage. That's like my favorite thing to buy when I'm at a vintage store along with blazers and blouses. Those are my three favorite things to look out for. Um, they usually have an elasticated waistband, so they're super comfortable. But here I've tried to make this floral skirt a little bit more spring appropriate by pairing it with a nice pastel baby yellow. I think that turtlenecks can still, in like a, on a cool spring day, it can work really well. And then just pick up on one of the colors that's already in the skirt. This skirt has yellow as well as pink, as well as a baby blue. So I could push this in many different directions. And I actually do have a couple of blouses as well that have this really pale yellow shade, like a very creamy, sort of custardy yellow. I really like that uh, in particular in the springtime. So I have many different ways in which I could style up this skirt, but I prefer to, if it's like this kind of skirt, to go with a t-shirt or with a turtleneck because I feel that a blouse can very easily make it grandma-ish. And that's what I was trying to stay away from in today's video. But then for the fall season, so if you're in the Southern Hemisphere and you're transitioning into fall winter right now, my favorite way, and this is not a skirt, I know, it's more like a dress option, but one of my favorite things to wear in the fall season is a turtleneck layered under a pinafore dress. There's just something about it. I also love a good turtleneck under a jumpsuit, but a lot of people are telling me that that's too our teacher or like you're teaching kindergarten. I don't personally mind that, but with a pinafore, I feel it comes together even better. And I love wearing this kind of outfit combo when I'm traveling. Here's a great hack because the dress, you can very easily pair with different tops and the dress will not get dirty as quickly as a pair of pants if it's like a little wet outside, if you just wear different pantyhoses, you're good to go, you know? So I'm like, 
this <laughs> this is a this is an outfit hack that I just love and this one in particular it has a really big pocket so I always have space to put my wallet somewhere on myself as well as like any sort of like passport or anything like that I can just put it in the dress rather than putting it in a bag so that's why I love this thing to death but yeah I have two pinafores another one I have is a corduroy and I love wearing those in the fall season but yeah another like mini skirt here or a denim skirt or an a-line corduroy skirt would be a great option as well with a turtleneck and then maybe like tall boots like knee-high boots perfect fall outfit and then the final outfit i wanted to chat to you about is my winter combo with a skirt you might think micah winter skirts really yes really like with a dress i think that wearing really thick tights with a skirt or a dress is one of the best ways to stay warm. I find it a lot more like warm, like I find I keep warm a lot better than in a pair of trousers. Um, that's just me. <laughs> Possibly because I have those fleece light tights from Primark, those I tend to go for. So yeah, a really pair, a thick pair of tights are needed here for sure. And then I really like playing with textures here. So a really big oversized black ribbed cardigan. This is a cashmere one from H&M and then combined with a silk emerald green skirt. It's not real silk, it's like a polyester. Got it from Topshop a few years ago when these things first were all the rage. It's also a little bit longer and this I feel just really gives me winter vibes. I don't know how to wear this skirt any way else but with an oversized sweater. So especially if you have skirts in your wardrobe that you find difficult to style, put a chunky knit with it and see what happens because you might like it. So there you have it. Those were all of the outfit combinations I wanted to chat to you about in today's video. Like I said, there's really only five ways in which I dress and this is them. So in I hope this was a bit inspirational for you that you got something out of it today. I really appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to be with me here today. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week. Like I said, mostly, mostly makeup content, but I like throwing in these fashion videos every single uh, once in a while, just for the fun of it. And then I hope to see you soon in another video. Have a great day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.